You might be wondering, why is this guy driving? Isn't this a data recovery channel? Well, it is. It's definitely related to data recovery. But before I get there, we have to go back to the beginning. But before I get there, I have to ask you something. Have you subscribed to my channel? Have you clicked like? Have you followed me on the other me social media platforms? Well, if you haven't, now's your chance. So, why am I driving? Well, like I said, we have to go back to the beginning. So, here's everyone's favorite, Surface Pro. Now, these tablets are great, but they suffer a major problem. And the major failure is the NVMe, as you can see by this mm, sad face. I get a lot of these, and a lot of times it's just the NVMe failing. Since Surface 3 or 4, NVMe is soldered on onto the single chip you see right there in the middle of the screen. So this is almost like an eMMC, it's a, it's a single packet and controller in one. Um, so unless you fix the tablet, uh, if you can't fix it, then you have to pull the chip off. And a lot of times they encrypt it, there's a way around encryption. But as you can see in this one, I was already expecting failure, because it's not showing up at all. Uh, it's Even Linux is telling you it's failing. So what do we do? Okay, so <clears throat> surface is here. Uh, I got it right here. So as you saw in the beginning of the video, I honestly think that this surface got a problem with, um, with the NVMe itself. Um, but I think uh, probably trying. I don't have a reader. There are, there are readers for these uh, for these devices, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna use uh, this thing here. This is a NVMe SSD. Um, so I'm going to remove this chip and I'm going to transplant the other one that's right here and I'm going to put it onto um, onto this board and we'll see what happens. And by the way, this time I remembered to start recording like last time, uh, last video, I didn't turn the overhead camera, the uh, microscope camera on. I mean, it's still crap. This, cam this camera is not very good, but uh, I'm going to re replace it eventually one of these days. Uh, but for now, it's staying here. Anyway, let's, um, let's prep this SSD. I'm going to remove... Uh, we're gonna remove the chip. So let's move the surface to the side for now. Let's get our SSD prepped. I'm gonna figure out which way do I want it. Okay. So let's uh, get some flux onto here. So we don't want to damage this uh, board. It's the only one I have. And then I'm gonna use low melt solder paste to reball that chip. And then I'm gonna see how that works. So a little bit of information about these chips. So these chips is um, this NVMe package itself. It's uh, I don't know that much about it, but I know I know that this chip itself is is almost like um, uh, an eMMC type of situation. It's basically one, the chip itself is the entire NVMe. So I mean we could potentially remove the NVMe and just run the wires to our PCIe lanes, but. Uh, I've never done it. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm just kind of guessing that's what you can do, right? Uh, but uh, I don't want to waste time on trying these things. I just want to do it so I can recover the data. Um, also, the client says this uh, this NVMe uh, this Surface didn't have BitLocker enabled. Well, I guess we'll find out um, because if it did, I don't think we're gonna be able to get the key because um, it's TPM. So maybe not. Let's get it done. I also got my stencil here. The temperature is 375. Might be too much, but since I'm not removing the um, chip of the, 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 the patient chip, I'm not gonna worry about damaging this one. We also don't want to pull any pads off. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful lift. No pads have been pulled. But the question is, is the chip still working? Well, I guess we'll find out.
Okay, we can see the, um, as you can see, I cleaned up the board pretty good. I'm gonna use some alcohol on this thing. So it's nice and clean. That should do it. We also have to clean the chip. So the chip has got to be clean too. Now I'm going to take this chip and we're going to clean it as well. Also, low melt solder. solder. So this video is going to be awfully long if I don't do this, so I'm going to have to speed this up. So anyways, remove the uh, NVMe from the surface, as you can see here, I had to uh, protect myself from the battery so I don't explode it with the heat. Removed it, cleaned it, uh, used once again low-mill solder and cleaned it all the pads and uh, it was a good lift, no issues uh, whatsoever. I had to use a bit of more temperature, so here it is cleaned up. Now just uh, straightforward reballing, so some captain tape, use a stencil. Clean it up and just simple reball with low mill solder as always some paper towel underneath trick I learned from uh, a friend of mine so here we go it's reballed now we remove it from the stencil I don't like popping it off with the tweezers because you can damage the stencil but uh, I had no choice in this case so here it is reballed I think there was one uh, ball that was damaged I cut that out there's no point filming that so I had to one, fix one ball. So here we go. We're gonna put it on the on the drive or well, on the board now. It's not a drive anymore. So here it goes onto the board. So now we can just put it back onto the uh, the board. And I've tested this method with good uh, NVMe drives. This method does work, swapping the uh, the chip into a different board. But in this case, um, we'll see if it works for us with this failing NVMe. Got the drive soldered on. Let's plug it in. And watch the logs. No, it doesn't detect it. As you can see, it shows up as ASMT NVMe, but unfortunately, when you click on it, there's nothing there. So, hmm. Well, I was suspecting the NVMe is not gonna work uh, because it was freezing the entire surface, so that was the issue. Since it doesn't work, there's one more thing I could try. It's just gonna take me some time. Hmm. So I ended up driving to uh, see a friend of mine up in Guelph, which is about 40 minute drive. Uh, it was still early, it was about 10.30 in the morning, so I figured why not take a quick drive up there and borrow his adapters. He bought two of these adapters that can read these NVMe drives and uh, he hasn't had a chance to test them and I had two chips to test, so I figured why not take a drive up there and here I am arriving at his location. I'm just pulling in. It was a nice uneventful drive. The drive back wasn't so much fun. I got stuck in traffic. I'm sure you'll see near the end of the video. And here we are. Okay, so I'm here with Luke. Hey! Uh, he's gonna be uh, looking at a drive, and also, you got these adapters, so 
The problem I had with um, with the SSD was that it wasn't working in the surface. So look at these two adapters here. And we're gonna try them. I'm also gonna borrow it and bring it back to the lab and test it out on some other ones. So, so this is the one you got, right? Yeah. So Let me get a chance to test it yet, or am I testing it? Um, I tested it, but I had a dead one, so it's kind of. So I get. I brought two. Yeah. I have um, the one from the surface, which I'm suspecting is dead, and then this is the good one. Uh, we can test it out. So we'll see. So here's Luke's lab. Will you film any of this for your YouTube or no? Have you filmed any of this for your YouTube? Yeah. At least your guy doesn't want to be in the video, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go snoop around. Yeah, Bruno doesn't like to be on uh, on video because yeah. he uh, he's scared that uh, the ladies will be lining up at the door. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I would be careful with that. Yeah, you never know. Let's see what drive. I think maybe he won't notice. So we gotta plug the info to P3000 and we're gonna see the good chip, see if it works. Um, I'm guessing the good one should work unless I killed it with heat already. It worked before. So it was detected, but this is a good C good chip, so I was expected to be detected. Yeah, there it is, 120 gig. So we know this chip works, we know the adapter works. And there it is. So it does read the partition map, so the chip is working, but this is just to test the adapter. So. Let's put in the bad chip, which I know is dead. Because the surface was freezing, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Uh, the surface was freezing, so I was expecting the uh, NVMe to be dead. But uh, let's uh, rule it out now. Maybe it was my soldering. Who knows? Let's test it. So we got the chip from the surface in, and... No, it's not gonna go. That's what I was expecting. But... I'll borrow Luke's adapter, I'll take it back to the lab, and we're gonna test it on the other Surface uh, NVMe. And it's not detect. So, a new development. Uh, put the chip back in again. And we get ID and size. The question is, is it gonna image? So, it's gonna image, I'm gonna leave it here to image. So, we'll give it a try. Luke is gonna give it a try, see if you can image it. Maybe you can open the file structure and uh, we just dump the uh, user folder now. Please work. I didn't drive here 40 minutes for nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it's lost in here, right? Hmm. So it did land. So the beauty of recovering SSD drives, doesn't matter what you see on YouTube, everyone, everyone being successful, it's not the case. I said in my video from four years ago, it's about 30% if you're lucky. What uh, what do you say, Luke? What's the probability of recovering SSDs? 20, 30%? I usually say it's around 20% myself. Yeah, yeah, it's not very good. I just had a case of wallet came in today. Yeah. And the uh, uh, user had a problem with uh, Windows booting. Yeah, yeah. And her, uh, her or him, or whichever, um, had a problem. So they tried to reinstall Windows a few times. And so I could use... After getting a full call with no bad sectors, uh, used uh, UFS and our studio, did a full scan, brought up a full file tree, wow. and not a single sector in every file. They're all zeros. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that happen. Yeah, They're yeah. all trim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so we got a bit of green, but it's not really responding. That's to be expected. Yep. Okay, well, we had it to read a little bit, but uh, I think I'm going to take it back to the lab and try it there. So, thanks for letting me drop by and borrow your stuff, man. No problem. And you're gonna be famous on YouTube with my 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> gonna take the adapter and gonna try it. So before I left, I had a look at everything Luke has and uh, he showed me his uh, clean room. I mean, I've been there before, it's nothing new to me. It's just, I wanted to show you for YouTube. Uh, and this awesome box he's using for hard drives, when I mean, he puts all the parts into one box and you kind of keep it all tidy, especially if you work on a lot of drives. Uh, it's a great box to have. So I picked up the adapter and I'm gonna head back to my lab now. It's about 40 minute drive. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying. Maybe I'll try deep spar and maybe it will work. If not, then there's one more surface I have uh, also that doesn't work, which is probably a, a bad NVMe drive as well. Very common on these drives on these tablets, so uh, let's head back uh, to Mississauga and uh, see if we can get it to work.
we're gonna hit the road uh, to drive back to Mississauga and of course on the way back just before Milton I hit a lot of traffic because up ahead there was an accident and um, instead of 40 minutes it took me an hour and 20 minutes to get back uh, well 401 things if you live in Toronto uh, you know how these things go 401 is just horrible sometimes but here you can see I'm avoiding the traffic uh, thanks to Waze and I get back on the 401 and I get to the office in time before 1 o'clock and I'm just pulling in so I got it here detected now in deep spar I tried uh, PC3000 but I, have, I was having problems so got it in deep spar don't mind my battery holding it down uh, but there it is let's see uh, what happens if we continue here okay I'm not gonna change any settings I'm gonna hit F5 to start imaging and we'll see what happens okay I might have to do some changes in the uh, configuration because I saw it, it was trying to access the drive a little bit but it's not reading yet so uh, let's play around with the settings a little bit and I'll come back to this uh, if we can get it to read so play around with the settings a little bit you can see it's detected the drive is definitely detected but it's uh, we are in repower state so it's set up now to repower twice on hitting error but it's probably not gonna read so yeah I'm gonna play around with it more some more I gotta start editing this video um, I got a lot of footage to go through uh, as you watched the entire video you know what happened I went somewhere and all these things have happened but uh, yeah oh we got some brown not good and also uh, while I was at uh, my friend's place we know, also noticed this, this drive was encrypted there's a way around this encryption sometimes on these uh, surfaces but I, I don't want to say what it is because this is uh, uh, just part of this uh, business I don't have to share everything with YouTube uh, but yeah this drive is pretty much done for. I have one more surface to try for data recovery. Hopefully that one's gonna be recoverable, but uh, this one isn't. You know what to do, share, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, links for everything I use is below, and I'll see you in the next video.